Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be looking into your December reading. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to start out by pulling your symbols. Then I'm going to move on to your coffee cup and saucer. During that, I will talk about the missing ingredient which came forward. And that will reveal what you need to do or who you need to become in order to achieve success. I also have here a magic oracle which will show us uh, your message of guidance, advice, or confirmation. And the last card here is going to be your roadmap to success, which reveals to us what you need to do or what should be done in order to achieve the success. I have your color card as well as the spirit animal for the month and during the general tarot reading i will also add romance reading at the end and by the way if you go on to enjoy this reading don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to give some love let's jump in and see what's happening in your cup initially and your symbols let's see those as well okay I see here there's a chunk of money showing up towards the end of the month. And as soon as I saw this dog barking can be an advice from a friend. I see a couple of things here I'm going to point out right away. Um, the hills are the obstacles to overcome. And I feel like this month is going to be the final stage of this obstacle coming to an end. You completing that cycle. And advice from a friend can be very useful in order to actually, you see the labyrinth here. You don't have to climb. Maybe there's a roadmap to where you're going and someone in your life can have the knowledge, can have the direction. Maybe they have been there already. And this actually, the shapes here, geometrical shapes are telling me there is a, like a mathematical way. Maybe there's a very systematic way you can achieve the success. And that success can bring you at the end of the month, a chunk of money from an outside unexpected source. I see there's even though uh, some sort of like a dark issue happening in your heart space, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. The light seeming like coming from during the New Year's, maybe <clears throat> towards the New Year's, you're going to actually um, see the light at the end of the tunnel, climb the last mountain, overcome whatever is holding you back. And um, maybe even like completing a cycle. I see a person here, there's heart, their heart is visible. This can be someone who's going to come forward to give you help, advice, can be a new love, a good friend. We have a dog coming forward. I feel like the dog coming forward is a friend that you already have. I don't feel like this is going to be a new friend, okay? Because um, loyalty requires, uh, personality is very important as well, but I feel like that requires some timeline too. And so what I see here, towards the end of the month, you might be receiving very good gifts from an authority figure, someone who's loving, supportive, can be cups energy, maybe queen of cups, king of cups. I see because there is actually like a gown um can be queen of cups but uh, i don't want to specify to that because the hierophant is actually wearing a gown as well i see there's a woman smiling here in the beginning of the week and she has a snake on top of her head the snake has a butterfly on top butterfly is metamorphosis <clears throat> and what happens is basically snake as well they come out of their shell snake sheds the old skin um, the butterfly comes out of the cocoon so this woman has on the forehead, I feel like maybe an enlightenment, a message coming ahead. This can be something um, that you're going to have like a revelation, maybe understanding of a situation. And what came through with your um, channeled messages is what are you truly longing for? It seems like here there is something that you have as a uh, desire, but the intention behind it actually not very solid. That's why maybe you're not connecting with that desire 100%. I feel like there's going to be an understanding happening because I feel like desires are given by the God. Uh, if you desire something that is meant for you, but the intention you put behind it, maybe is going to evolve into something that will have um, the, um, you know, for a wider audience, maybe reaching out to wider people, helping other people. It is going to have some sort of like a um, loyal, um, royal, what is that word? Like a good cause basically behind it, okay? And <clears throat> so 
the way to victory is contentment that's a message came forward so i feel like here when you acknowledge when you receive the information um that what you want to know like when that re um, is revealed to you first of all keeping it to yourself is very important and being content with the answer coming forward maybe you're expecting something more and your mind gemini's tend to be intellectual analyzing too much maybe thinking okay this might not be it doubting the cause so do not doubt it be sure of it because this is like with the snake is the kundalini energy enlightenment this is the pathway and usually pathway to enlightenment comes forward very lightly it doesn't just falls like a brick um bag of bricks if you have been actually ignoring your inner signs then it can hit like a, a bag of bricks but if you are already on the pathway it will unravel itself in a very calm way i see a letter c here cecilia a letter e can be in someone's first name or the last name coming ahead i see the face of a fox fox indicates a shadow work so if there is something in, hidden in the shadows that you're not aware of, they're going to be revealed to you. There's a woman who's not really very happy with the situation, doesn't have negative intentions. Maybe someone with a lighter complexion. There is another dog behind them. So I feel like this person has certain expectancy from you and you are choosing yourself first. I see someone smiling here. So you are actually choosing your peace yourself first. This can be maybe even like changing a job and environment with... Um, but this might require you to leave your best friend there. Okay. So you don't have a bad intention. They don't have a bad intention. But the thing is the gateway open to you and you're on the threshold. You're changing. Everything is evolving. And maybe they are choosing to stay where they are. You cannot change their fate. Okay. That can be feeling contentment about that is also important. Like you have done uh, what is possible to be uh what's possible for you now it's their uh, ball is on their court basically i see the symbol of an aries here there is actually an a, i was gonna say goat but not a goat a ram right there that indicates the resilience also aries energy has leadership you might be getting upgraded to a leadership position by the way i have a very strong wind outside that is also speaking i feel like because you are the air energy uh, the things are going to accelerate around this month really fast towards the end of the month even maybe i see there are like one two three four pathways opening one of them is a dead end but in the dead end we have here a pot boiling you can see the face of a horse horses means wish fulfillment was in the second week you might receive a big horse head meaning horse head is your wish fulfillment um your establishment I don't see the horseshoe here, but still it indicates good luck. And a small horse shows up here by the pot, this boiling pot right there. So uh, they, with that big thing, you can also accomplish something small too. Okay, on the side. And that's all good, uh, going to be good and fun and joyful for you. I see another horse within the third week. And this horse is wearing like this big um, hat. I think this is like during the, <clears throat> I had this girlfriend from Texas. She used to make this massive hats for her. She used to every year attend the Texas Derby. And like she was a designer and build this massive hats for herself or like very um, flowery designer things, very like artistic things. And I see this horse is wearing something like this here. Uh, I don't remember the date when the thing was, but the thing that reminded me of that. So there is a victory, another victory coming forward within the third week. But I feel like this is going to be something that you will have um, something to show. <clears throat> something maybe artistic, something that will be um, like something worth um, your time, basically. Also, uh, will be a display of your success. Okay, the horse also means wish fulfillment, but yeah something to be like smiling about you see a person like their jaw is on the floor smiling this massive smile ear to ear this is going to be something very like enjoyable for you the last week uh, there is a mountain kind of like building looks like a building as well i don't i'm not going to say mountain but we have the hills right here another thing i would like to say is the hills can be uh, symbolizing the hills that you're going to be climbing if you're planning to climb up any hills um, or like climbing in the sense of 
If you're in a snowy place, maybe you're going to go skiing with your family for uh, the last week of December. And this can be a place or a big building that you're going to maybe go to a hotel to enjoy yourself. I see here someone actually looking outside of the window, one of the windows here. This can be like a family vacation. I feel the energy or the advice from a friend can actually maybe guide you to this place. We have like a labyrinth behind the friend right there, as you can see maybe a place of like um enjoyable space okay the labyrinth that you're going to maybe lose yourself inside of it but at the same time you're going to find something that will be very useful and we have a torch burning here um during that last week you can't even get this massive idea that will light up a fire within you and then that fire i see that person is appearing here with the heart maybe someone is going to come forward to support that idea that cause that is coming to your mind that you're going to write down start sharing and that will be supported another person i see here is a woman actually wearing another hat big hat here she has kind of like this fashion type of like a mannequins and figurines in front of her this can be someone artistic or if you're planning to actually do something artistic it can be involving that i also see a shoe here if you're planning to maybe travel to a place that has that kind of like vibes and maybe creative endeavors high fabric related maybe now i'm thinking india as soon as i said fabric colors painting they are actually they're the mainland of uh, producing this kind of beautiful things maybe some sort of like inspiration that you're going to be getting it doesn't have to be traveling to india it can be like buying a book which has prints on there and analyzing and visualizing that but the shoe kind of tells me there's some sort of like a travel coming forward i don't see outside path opening but i see the outside resource coming forward that can give you the inspiration to go to certain places or shops cities to maybe just uh, spend the new years and just dive into that creative energy <clears throat> I have with your channel messages, there's actually this um, classic music started playing. It was really fun and enjoyable. So, oopsie, sorry about that. And I recommend to you to actually listen to that. The message came forward was Adagio in G minor, London Philharmonic Orchestra was playing that with another person's name. I forgot it. Write down how you feel, release the longing, then you will receive what you desire, okay? Because that's how we started. What are you longing for? You have something, feeling like something is missing. This song, actually, this uh, piece can help you connect with that, what is missing, okay? Let's dive into your um, plate now, saucer. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. I see a very clean uh, saucer, by the way. I see someone... Like a goat with the horns can be a bull as well hanging. Your desire coming really fast. This can be a sacrifice that is actually already given because it's hanging upside down. Now it's turning um, around and um, looking like a person here. Sacrifice doesn't mean actually giving up something that is worth and value to you. Sacrifice is giving up something that doesn't, <clears throat> that is has lesser of a value in order to receive something on a higher value, okay? The, the example is um, actually, um, for example, like a dieting in order to lose weight, okay? If you're like, if this is a health condition. Um, focusing on your work, like giving up the time in order to gain more access to abundance, kind of that kind of a thing, okay? Or like writing down the inspirational book that came to your mind, sitting down and spending time on that so you can have recognition success maybe even at the end of the day financial support through it i see there is a um kind of like a pig but i don't want to say this is like a um buffalo type of an energy i see here what buffaloes does is they actually do is <clears throat> they when they see the storm they run right through it they do not run away from it because they don't like the rain they don't like the water so when you run right through the storm you just pass through the storm and get to the end of it really fast and i feel like this can be a person actually running from the storm coming towards you i see a letter m as in matthew mary amanda madison i won't like to say it doesn't have to be their initials and it's, this person can be someone actually running through this kind of like a place and coming towards you. And I see that you're standing on this like a uh, little box or maybe like a two-story home. Um, can be someone coming forward. The thing is, this person had the sacrifice because the sacrifice attached to them. And they have a massive fish in their hands. So maybe they have already created the wealth they 
um, or after. I see tears of joy, a small one falling out of your plate right there. You, with that person's arrival, you might receive a very good news. And I see kind of like gems spilling out towards the end of the year. The gems can be the literal gems. Maybe you're going to receive some <clears throat> jewels, uh, rubies, emeralds as a, um, a gift. I see letter T. Someone with their name, they have T, can bring these things to you. I also see letter A in someone's first name or the last name. H is here too. So, um your energy field is intact and uh, towards the end of the year there's going to be some loosening up happening there are people coming forward very light energy that can be the celebration i also another person i see here is there's an angel with the angel wings when i cover this up showing up this angel has an owl on their finger owl most of the time indicates um intuition intuitive guidance because they're actually when you watch like uh, there's an experiment i saw they released the birds some birds in a closed um, environment and l is actually the quietest bird when it flies it doesn't even flap its wings and you cannot hear it flying so this is something is hidden uh, that we cannot hear with our uh, ears or see with our eyes smell it but you can feel it there's a feeling because you can feel a bird is flying even though you don't see it or hear it and it seems like you're with this owl this person's gift to you is the sense of knowing okay or maybe like literal inside information that you're going to receive about a subject that will actually maybe let you know about what to do next we have was a threshold card here this is actually the missing ingredient number 45 this is the gateway the initiation this is indicative of that there's a doorway that you're going to be crossing over from darkness to a massive light the light here we have um the, the sacral chakra solar plexus we have the orange and the golden light which is your creativity as well as your joy is coming forward you are crossing over at this missing ingredient is knowing knowing that this is actually not the end not the beginning this is going to be one of those gateways that you're going to cross which will lead you to your success okay just take the next step and be grateful because this will be your victory this will open this new pathways for you and will be your continuation so if you're feeling stagnant if you're feeling bored about what's not moving further into your life it seems like a doorway you're right on the doorway and as soon as you receive that go a go sign uh, it's time to just cross over step onto the other side okay that's like the missing ingredient maybe you're waiting for something or you're not really waiting for it anymore because you're thinking okay this is done i'm done this subject is the, at the end now it can be money it can be relationships but this is basically telling you this hangman we have here this is the end of the situation this is the end of the waiting period now it's your time you are being um enlightened now the, you're going to be walking through the light okay Cro uh, cross over the threshold know that it's right there okay let's go into your general situation let's see what's happening if you have a, a specific question and desire and intention it's good to have that we have a king of wands it seems like there's someone with a lot of authority adventurous um wants to try new things this can be like an entrepreneur who's coming into your life or an idea that you're exploring at this moment when it comes to overall maybe career and finances this can be a person um of aries Leo, sagittarius we had someone like that in your cup as well so yeah maybe that person is going to actually uh come forth very soon the situation will evolve if you make a decision you see that he is actually having all the gems in his hand this person seven of swords um, i'm sorry seven of cups is indicative of <clears throat> not being able to make a decision okay having maybe too many choices or having hard time to put your finger onto something and move forward with it and the situation can evolve as soon as you pick something and move on with that and maybe you're feeling like okay i'm losing one thing when i choose another one but the thing is whatever is meant for you will follow you will find you you don't have to worry about the other things just deal with the thing that subject in front of you at this moment the factors are new adventures coming forth i feel like you're going to be receiving new mails on uh the post and there's going to be an opportunity of uh, maybe a travel or exploration uh new you can see this person is looking into new horizons and um like releasing 
maybe you are sending the news now i'm seeing he's actually releasing here um the eagle or falcon but i don't think they carry news per se but also like stepping into the new opportunity of freedom coming forward stepping into that new freedom area and i see here with the threshold as you can see this is all about the colors of yellow and orange we're gonna see what your color is gonna come out maybe it's gonna come out something like that as well four of cups okay the solution like the result and the outcome maybe the solution what you need to do is get out of that boredom mindset okay maybe you're feeling like oh there's nothing i can do uh i am like stuck where i am but this is basically uh, if you keep indulging into the confusion mind and uh, the devil yeah and i have the emperor on this on the bottom and then the lovers is your card it comes forward i'm gonna take that as well so it seems like the final result is you're if you keep going in the direction of not knowing things and um, the outside results outside effects even though it opens up new doorways for you you're not going to be able to see the blessing in there that's because of the devil energy here the obsession maybe focusing on the things that you think you need rather than you actually need okay finding out what you actually need is the seven of cups energy here is actually is going to be the resolving point and the emperor is going to be your authority you're taking charge and taking care of things and the lovers will show up and lovers can indicate a choice that you're going to make is going to be actually very useful very uh, fruitful for you another thing with the lovers energy if this is like a healthy making a healthy choice it is going to be uh, given as well let's get your clarifiers here because I feel like we need to see who this person is or why are you feeling confused at this moment? Why is this like you're having a lot of options and having a hard time to choose from them? The snake came forward. I feel like maybe you're feeling it just fell off. So I'm going to put it back in because it was intentional. But the thing is with the snake energy on this deck, we have this guy is wrapped around by a snake. You might be getting affected by people that are not really working on your behalf maybe you are getting affected by their ideas thoughts outside influence maybe on the tv whatever it is you're watching is draining your energy because they do not have good intentions i don't feel like this is something straight directed to you if you're in that kind of a position with someone directly actually like draining your energy it's good to cut those bonds but if this is something that like on the TV or environment related, you can also control that too. This person is the main man. We have a handsome man here. Uh, we're going to do the look in the romance as well. But this can be overall an authority figure coming ahead with an, a good offer. Maybe many offers that will confuse you at the situation. But the sun is coming out after the rain like a buffalo. You're running through the rain and getting to the sunshine very soon. Even though you're going to have a little confusion with uh, the maybe many options you're going to make a decision and it's going to be a strong decision that will lead you to the right direction we have a castle that you're building here so um the things the outside factors are going to be i feel like maybe travel opportunity as well as the financial security can come forth and help you make this decision and finally we have your childhood dream a child coming forward this can be like a new thing and the fish right there a fish on the bottom symbolizes wealth opportunity success abundance of the universe that you're manifesting in your life another thing with the child is this is a new endeavor a new thing new area that that's why maybe you're hesitant that's why you're not really taking steps towards it but it seems like it is going to work out really well with the child and the fish okay if you have doubts it's okay to have all the doubts but uh, it's not okay to dwell on them let them actually drain your energy like the devil card okay because devil card is just um energy drain it's not really very effective it can only whisper if you fall into the trap of it then you can you can only get yourself trapped and you can actually remove yourself because physically the devil cannot do anything cannot push you anywhere okay let's see <clears throat> the romance card it's good to have if you have a specific person in your uh, life and it's good to hold on to that person visualize and think about them ask about questions if you don't maybe if you have love questions what kind of a person that you would like the wheel of fortune says whatever that you're wanting that person is going to arrive okay even if you have a person maybe the things are not really working 
with them it seems like it is going to evolve in a way it is a cycle of life coming to an end that negative cycle and you're going to start out a new one uh your person this if this is a specific person in your mind this person can be thinking you are the jackpot you are the wheel of fortune as well even if you're not feeling it and because we have the physical connection the world card is completion of the journey of the fool. This person maybe have been things and you have been things as well. And now you're coming to end, end of the journey and you're maybe deciding on a new direction, a new strategy, how to approach this physical thing. And that's why it might be, there might be a little bit distance, but the world card is a very positive uh, beginning. It's going to be ending of whatever the blockages, delays and all that stuff and starting a new. There's going to be a reset in when it comes to your physical connection with this person. Spiritual connection, we have the hermit energy. This person can be someone actually very spiritual, um, deep thinker, analyzing the situations and they really want to have like a deeper level connection with you. Maybe meditation together, meditating, uh, doing uh, other practices that can increase your spiritual connection and they're going to be very um, aligned with that like higher energies higher powers long-term outcome is six of cups um, six of cups is like children childhood nostalgia but this can also mean maybe right raising children together raising a future together or accomplishing your uh, past dreams with this person whatever that you were dreaming about uh, this person is going to align with that energy maybe you're going to be uh, together um, building that relationship in a way uh, that will have the innocence of children that will have innocence joy playfulness non-judgmental attitude because what, that's what happens with the children when you watch them like in the playground what they do is they just you know push each other fall get up and just keep going playing they forget everything in a second because they do not hold any grudges they just um they don't really have the understanding why certain things has been done because everybody acts they come from uh their own background not from like a purposefully hurting you that's not really the intention everybody is doing their best the best they can so i feel like that's going to be that kind of understanding with the hermit card you're going to have a deeper understanding of why certain things happen so far and like how you can evolve this into the next level in a good way in a peaceful way we have the emperor here i'm holding the deck reverse okay the emperor energy you had the emperor coming forward with your last uh, with the situation the first situation as well as an outcome can be again aries energy this person knows what they want this is a very strong character a uh, masculine in the sense of even though this is like a feminine a women men doesn't matter this person knows what they want out of a relationship and they have been through the grind maybe because we have the wheel of fortune and they're very decisive when it comes to new relationship they know what they want fire energy indicate this person can be a little bit more adventurous and uh, they like to have fun and it doesn't matter now i'm thinking like my aries girlfriends and boyfriends they all have kind of like the same energy they have the energy of adventure living the life to the fullest and exploring new things leading with confidence so it can be someone like that have that energy when it comes to your relationship the star we have the physical connection is going to be something from the heaven basically this is a wish fulfillment this is going to be flowing like water whatever that you're expecting out of a relationship they will carry that energy they will have that physical connection is going to be not only on this person's the other party's side but on the, your side as well going to align perfectly because the star card in the original we see this woman actually pouring water inside of a lake inside of a little pond so like that's the water energy is very good when it comes to physical connection because water also symbolizes emotion. So it's not going to be like superficial. It is going to be something deeply connected. Spiritual connection to a source energy. I feel like this is going to be the ball is on your court right here because this is uh, your Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Uh, this person is going to come forward with a lot of deep connective, maybe even like someone who has like a guru type of energy. And you have to decide to connect with that and go with that uh, or not. We have here um, eclipse happening. 
So the eclipse is going to pause everything for a second, basically, until you make your decision to go ahead and connect spiritually. And we, as soon as you make your decision, I feel like everything is going to fall into the right place. Ten of Pentacles. Energy is actually true love, long-term stability, financial security, family coming together, maybe raising children wisely, building basically a legacy with this person okay i feel like this is like something long term it is going to have long term energy okay beautiful let's see what your um instant magic oracle is going to reveal for the message of confirmation and guidance we're going to open up a page and look it up i see a heart actually growing flowers here feels feminine body you are experiencing spiritual growth right now you may find that you no longer have space for certain friendships beliefs okay or old negative thinking patterns allow yourself to move on know that you are creating space for amazing new people new ways and new energies you see that flowering there's new things coming forward. I feel like this is a beautiful thing because we're on the brink of 2025. And it means that you're going to actually create some new energies, attract some new energies into your life during this timeline. Okay, beautiful. Let's see <clears throat> your color of the month. You can wear this color. You can actually eat uh, things if there are things in this color. That can boost your energy, help you connect with that. Um, this message coming forth. We have the pink. Let's love in. Beautiful pink. Um, did I say pink for you at the in the beginning? I think I said pink color. And pink can actually help you um, create the things you want faster. If you are interested in like chi balls, chi uh, energy, what happens is this is actually an energetic. Um, ball that you create mentally and then you can release it to the universe by putting your desire inside of it pink is the most effective color they say green is the heart chakra color it is effective but pink is the most effective most powerful color when you're creating something so you can wear pink like i said you can eat pink things this can be mm, dragon fruit maybe or a strawberry is kind of red but yeah you know, when you peel them, nobody peels them, but yes, if you try. So it can be that kind of like a pink color. And let's see what's the animal will guide you throughout this month. I have this, all of these decks upside down. Let's flip them and see. I keep replacing them. That's why they're upside down. Which animal wants to guide through you guide with the cosmic egg okay you don't have an animal you have actually the creation energy we have the snake too snake is the kundalini guidance kundalini energy coming forward here so there's going to be definitely a new beginning a new understanding of certain things i want to see the message here that the writer intended because these are like not specific animals um that's why i want to see her intentions um libra got um cause another egg as well the golden egg so if you have libra in your chart go ahead and check this one out cosmic egg is the completion like the world car coming forward here harmony the infinite within the finite this is actually the final card in this deck basically it is telling you you are at the end of your journey right now this is the end of the year this is the end of your journey whatever that you set off to um that is coming to an end this can be like because i, I said we have the hills right here too maybe you are actually going through a hard time carrying too much weight on your shoulders now it's time to just evolve from that it is the end of that timeline you are going to receive all necessary help divine as well as the material help okay and this indicates the seventh chakra which is actually called sahash Rada, one of the aims of yoga meditation practice channel energy from the base of your spine upward towards your top of the head okay this is where your top of the head is so this is actually um, as far as i remember it's like a deep indigo color should be um can be very useful for you to imagine that color on top of your head as well your journey is complete and you are going to be probably receiving a 
I want to see like a promotion, an upgrade, type of an upgrade in your life. Okay, with this energy, there's going to be a definite upgrade showing up here for you. And your final card, Roadmap to Success, Touching Earth, Planting Something New. So I feel like because all the energy indicates that you're coming to the end of a challenge, end of like a, a definite uh, something that has been weighing you down. You're on the threshold. You're starting something new. And what you can do is planting something new can be in a literal sense. Maybe planting a new tree, planting a new plant in your uh, balcony or by your window that will uh, remind you your new cause, new uh, desire. And also an intention, the seed of an intention, planting into the ground for the year, for upcoming new things is very important because the, the oracle, this is a roadmap to success, this will come to life, this will grow. I kind of see on top of her head, the shape looks like a star. Star means wish fulfillment. Your wishes are actually the divine ears are listening. They're going to be hearing it. Okay. So touching earth can be a grounding uh, um, way for you. Also planting something new as an intention, as well as a material, a seed can be very helpful for the upcoming times. Okay. All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.